This is day 5 of Advent of Code 2024 Done and Go, and this challenge is called Print Q. Satisfied with their search on Sears, the squadron of scholars suggests subsequently scanning the stationary stacks on sub basement 17. The North Pole Printing Department is busier than ever this close to Christmas, and while the historians continue their search of this historically significant facility, an elf operating a very familiar printer beckons you over. The elf must recognize you because they waste no time explaining that the new Slayer launch safety manual updates won't print correctly. Failure to update the safety manuals would be dire indeed, so you offer your services. Safety protocols clearly indicate that new pages for the safety manuals must be printed in a very specific order. The notation X pipe Y means that if both page number X and page number Y are to be produced as part of an update, Page number X must be printed at some point before page number Y. The elf has for you both the page ordering rules and the pages to produce in each update. The puzzle input. I can't figure out whether each update has the pages in the right order. So for example this, uh, the first section specifies the page ordering rules, one per line. First rule 47 pipe 53 means that if an update includes both page number 47 and page number 53 then page number 4 must be printed at some point before page number 53. 47 doesn't necessarily need to be immediately before 53, other pages are allowed to be between them. The second section specifies the page numbers of each update. Because most safety manuals are different, the pages needed in the updates are different too. The first update, 74, 47, 61, 53, 29, means the update consists of those page numbers. To get the printers going as soon as possible, start by identifying which updates are already in the right order. In the above example, the first update, 75, 47, 61, 53, 29, is in the right order. 75 is correctly first, because there are rules that put each other page after it, like so. 47 is correctly second, because 75 must be before it, and every other page must be after it according to these rules. 61 is correctly in the middle, because 75 and 47 are before it, and 53 and 29 are after it. 53 is correctly fourth, because it is before page number 29, and 29 is the only page left, and so is correctly last. Because the first update does not include some page numbers, ordering rules involving those missing pages are ignored. The second and third updates are also in the correct order according to the rules, like the first update. They also do not include every page number, and so only some of the ordering rules apply within each update. The ordering rules that involve the missing page numbers are not used. The fourth update, 75, 97, 47, 61, 53, is not in the correct order. It would print 75 before 97, which violates this rule. So we've got a good idea as to what the rules are, so don't need to read that. And for some reason, the elves also need to know the middle page number of each update being printed. Because you are currently only printing the correctly ordered updates, you will need to find the middle page number of each correctly ordered update. In the above example, the correctly ordered updates are 61, 53, so 29. So add them together, 143. Okay, this is an interesting challenge. So let's get started. So initially here, we'll start off with lines. And just so we can see what it looks like we'll do uh, we're just going to print out out uh, the lines just for get idea for when we need to split it so if we print that okay I've got a whole heap of numbers that doesn't look like how it should so did I get the right input oh right I'm doing four so it's printing out the index so now I need to do that there we go that looks correct so so these are all the updates I try and do and then they'll become one where it's this so let's do if line equals U line like that, we'll then print out U line, print it out like that. Okay, so it's not a new line. What if we do length? Length, let's just do less than five, just so we can uh, do less than four. We'll then print out the line. So the reason I'm doing this is just to figure out the point in time. Uh, so we start off with the rules and then we go to the updates. So I'm just figuring out what exactly it is we're splitting on. So let's see, what, are, what length are you? Okay, length of zero. Um, so we're first going through, it will be the rules first. So let's do rules, and this can be, um, this will be a map of ints, which we need to make first, and we will make the value of it a list of ints. So when we're going through the rules, we will grab the first number, and then add the second number to the list of rules. So we do that. And then we'll do um, updates. This will be. Actually, I don't need to do a map with that. that. This can just be list of ints, like so. So we're going through the lines. 
is add rule equals true if length of line equals zero equals false continue and we do if is add rule it's number pipe number we need to split the numbers based on the pipe we need to convert um we need to convert them to numbers and add them to the map so we'll do parts is equal to strings dot split and that will be line and pipe just do num1 equal to parts zero and we need to our string conv dot a toy and the same again here but for num2 and what's the error here I always forget it returns an error as well which we will ignore and then we do rules num1 equals um, append rules num1 num2 so we do that and now we're doing the else for the rules themselves of uh, the updates and for this it's going to be very similar so parts split on comma I think this would be for part in for part equals range parts and that would be this needs to be a list of lists of ints so we'll do current update equals int and for this would be current update equals append current update um, string conf dot toy part and what's wrong with this okay so I have to do it outside of it like that I think do it like that and then when we are outside of this we then do updates equals append updates current update is there anything wrong with this the result of append is never used except maybe in other appends not sure what that means but now let's try uh, printing out this so we'll do uh, what's it, what do we call it uh, rules and then updates fmt so let's run that okay so we've got an error here oh, I did part two by accident it's obviously meant to be part one we run it and the rules look to be uh, the update looks seems to be fine and the rules seem to be fine cool so my thoughts for how we do this so I've got um, the list of updates we go to the very end of the list and we start from here and then we go through the rest of the numbers and check to see if oh wait maybe we don't need to go to the end we start we can go out of the beginning so it's gonna say we go to the end no wait yes we go to the very end and we check to see the rules for this one if any of the numbers before it are in that list then it's failed I think that works you know what let's give it a shot so we'll start off with 4i equals length of updates minus 1 i is greater equal to 0 i am minus minus. we then do let's grab current num is equal to updates i oh okay so now we can do 4 num in range updates and we create a slice up to i i think that would work would that work we can oh i mean we can test it so figure it out and then we do we'll do is valid equals true so then what we need to do is um we'll then iterate through rule num and this is equal to range rules and this would be current num and we then do if num equals rule num is valid equals false and then we can break and why am i getting an error here cannot use current num value of type cannot use current num variable of type as int value in map oh right i meant to use num not current num actually we'll change this to current update just because that makes a bit more sense and this should have been current update like that now we've got num then we break from this and if not is valid break like so then what we need to do is if is valid what we now need to do is find the middle point and then add that to the output so we'll do output plus equals um so current update so we need to grab the number that's in the middle so current update then length of current update divided by two and what's wrong with this undefined output did i move okay i accidentally moved it so we'll bring that back to the top here and 
Oh, I accidentally put it down there. So just remove that. And let's run it and see if that works. Okay, we've got an error. What's going on? Ah, oh, okay, yep, I messed that one up. There's meant to be another layer here, so... So I... Okay, this one I did didn't make sense. For current update, in range updates. That's what I should have done. Then within here, we do this with the length of current update. So we do this, put this up to here. Now we need to move everything else inside of here. So iterating through all the updates. We've now got current update we're looking at. Set the variable for that single update. Yep, that is now valid. We are now iterating through all the indexes within current update. This should not be greater or equal to zero, it should just be zero. We then do for num in range current update i. Then we're checking all the rules for this number, for all the numbers, checking to see if none of them should be going after that number. Okay, now that makes sense, so let's run it. Um, okay, we've got a number here, 195152. So let's go to here, submit it, and then let's see if it's correct. It's not correct. Okay, let's go to here. We will put this into our... I'm just going to do that, and then we put that into here, like that. We grab this and put that into here. So what are we getting when we run it on the test one? We're getting 1028. Okay, let's do middle is equal to this, and then plus equals middle. Actually, yeah, let's do use break points. So we do that, middle, what is... Okay, that's a mistake. I've got it inside instead of being out here. So remove that breakpoint and let's rerun it. That's still wrong. Okay, so let's do breakpoint. So what is current update? Does that match? So that one is one which works. What is middle set to? Should just put the breakpoint there. Step over. Middle is 61, which is correct. So let's continue running. Now we're at 961. Okay, wait, which row is that? 90, oh, 97, which, 97, 61, 53, that's correct, and it's 53, so that is correct as well. Now let's continue again, we are at 75, 29, 13, which is correct, and let's run it again. Okay, it's saying that one is correct, so 75, 97, 47 is not in the correct order, because it would print 75 before 97, which violates that rule. Do I have the rules? 97, 75 is in there. So that means this check is not working. Okay, so what's wrong with this? So I'm iterating. Okay, that just makes no sense what I wrote. So I've got this range, I've got i. Okay, so we need, yep. So we needed current num is equal to current update i. And in here we're doing rules current num. And then it'll be num on this one. I think that should work. 143, that looks correct because it is. Now we'll go back to here, we'll copy this back to there, and we will run that. And 6505, and that is correct, so now on to part 2. While the elves get to work printing the correctly ordered updates, you have a little time to fix the rest of them. For each of the incorrectly ordered updates, use the page ordering rules to put the page numbers in the right order. For the above example, here are the three incorrectly ordered updates and their correct orderings. So 75, 97, this one would become this, this would become this, and this would become this. After taking only the incorrectly ordered updates and ordering them correctly, the middle page numbers are this. Adding these together produces one, two, three. Okay, interesting. So there would be a lot of uh, copied code from here especially for the initial setup. So let's copy that to here. So we'll keep all this, keep all this set up, and then we get to here. Now what we'll change is right here, if, oh, okay. I was gonna keep like this where it does that, but what would the best way to do this be? So I guess straight away, change this to if is not valid, and then this right here would be at the very bottom. So what we need to do, we can assume, so the update, Everything is out of order. We need to go through all the numbers and then somehow figure out the correct order. So, um, how do we do that? We'll start off with a new list. We are going to build this list with the numbers being added to it in order. So we'll do ordered equals uh, list of ints. So we're gonna be iterating over the current list multiple times. And we're gonna be figuring out which one has uh, dependencies and which one doesn't. If it 
if it doesn't have a dependency, it then goes into the list. If it doesn't, it then stays. So we will create a map, we'll just call it remaining, and this will contain uh, each of the numbers as the key, and then a boolean to say it uh, it still needs to be processed, or uh, however it would be. So this will be make, no, it doesn't need to be make, just map int bool, and like this. Then we'll do for num num in range current update remaining num equals true. So remaining is it hasn't been added to ordered yet. And what we'll do okay, I was I was originally thinking when it's added to ordered, we make the value of it false. But what we could do instead is just delete that number from remaining and then we can iterate over the length of remaining. So for length remaining greater greater than zero, we can then iterate over the uh, numbers in range. Uh, what are we iterating over? This would be remaining. Actually, I just want to see what is it the boolean that's being printed, or is it is it the value? Okay, cool. It's the value. Just wanted to double check that. So num. So we'll start off. Um, we'll start off with boolean valid true. We will then check to see if this number is valid for being entered into the ordered list. Okay, what we're going to do, I just thinking about it, what we need, so currently we have it set up, sorry, we have the rule and everything that is dependent on it. What we really need now is a number and everything this number is dependent on. So we will create dependencies, which is going to be basically just the rules again, but what we'll do, dependencies, let's see what rules, we'll copy this, and what this will be is dependencies num, so for num in current update, we will do for dep in range rules num, and what we'll do here is, well this number is dependent, uh, that is dependent on this number, so we'll do that. So for num in range valid true, I think what we could do instead is um, if uh, depend length of dependencies num equals zero, we will do ordered equals append ordered num. We'll then need to do uh, we'll then need to do delete uh, remaining and num. So order's added, delete's added. What's wrong with this? This result of appendix number, whatever, that's fine. And we would then need to, oh, what would it be? So we're gonna have to iterate over the dependencies, iterate over the values, then remove if this exists. Okay, so that's gonna be annoying to do. So, so what we do, let's do for key val in range dependencies. So start off that initially, we will create a new list of dependencies, which will be the int. We then need to iterate over all, mm, all the all the ends in range uh, val. Then we do if if n does not equal num, then new list equals append new list and that would be n. Then once we've done this, uh, dependencies key equals new list. I think that's all that needs to be done, Ex oh, except here. Need to change middle to ordered. I think that might be all. Um, so let's uh, first run it on the test one and see what output we get. So we got one, two, three, and what, well, that was it. So now, hopefully that will just work straight away with our code uh, without input. So let's do that. And now let's run it. Now I've got the number 6897. Go back to Avon of Code, paste that in, and hopefully it's worked, which it has. Awesome. So that is day five of Avon of Code 2024. Done and go. Completed. Like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe.